Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today I'll be talking about the Jamison Crowder contract dispute. But before we get started, just wanted to mention you can find me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why if you haven't already. And also please check out the Just Jets podcast and Just Jets Clips channel link to both in the description below. So Jamison Crowder has not been at OTAs and it's due to a contract dispute. Now he has one year remaining on his deal and the Jets are supposedly trying to get him to take a pay cut. He's due $10 million and the team wants him to obviously come in a little bit less than that. None of that $10 million is guaranteed, so the Jets could theoretically move on from him at any time. The issue is he's a solid player and you want to make life as easy as possible for your young quarterback, so I understand not wanting to move on from him. Let's take a look at the numbers from the last two years. In 2020, he had 699 yards, six touchdowns in 12 games, so 58.3 yards per game, the best of his career. 2019, 833 yards, six touchdowns, 52 yards per game. Did that over a 16 game season. He's a really, really solid slot receiver. He's not phenomenal. He's not amazing, but he's a good player. He's a very good player. But is he worth that $11 million that he'll come in against the cap? I'm not sure about that. I would say probably not. But when you take into consideration how bad the Jets offense has been, and helping your young quarterback, I would be willing to let him stay on the roster. I'm good with that at that number. I understand he's not going to be re-signed here, but if he doesn't want to come because A, he doesn't want to play for that price, he wants an extension or whatever, then maybe you move on from him. You don't just move on from him to move on from him, but let's say you're bringing in Morgan Moses, then that's a different story. Morgan Moses and Richard Sherman for Jamison Crowder, I'd maybe be willing to make that swap just about any day of the week. It's it's really up to Joe Douglas and Robert Sala and LaFleur, because he's going to be the one running the offense, what they want to do. Clearly, I want Jamison Crowder on this team. I think the Jets are better with him on the roster, and it's not like they necessarily need the cap space. And I'd be fine if things go well and you want to flip him at the deadline for a late round pick or whatever. You could do that too. I'm not really necessarily worried about losing Jamison Crowder after the year for nothing. I'm worried about making life as easy for the young quarterback. But that only goes so far, right? Like you're not going to just do it to do it. If you can upgrade and improve at another position, like bringing in Moses and then you're improving right tackle and probably right guard as well, because you, I guess would be moving Fant over to play right guard, then completely different story. Clearly, I'm not going to get bent out of shape over this. I don't think it's really a big deal. At the end of the day, if I were to make a prediction, I think Jamison Crowder plays out the year on this contract. I don't think he gets a new one. I don't think he takes a pay cut. I think he eventually shows up to training camp. OTAs are voluntary anyway. I think it's not really a huge deal that he's not there at OTAs. I'm not sweating about it. You shouldn't be either, but you can let me know what you think about the situation down in the comments below. Do you A, give him that pay cut and keep him around the team? Do you let him play out the contract or do you just cut him and move on? It's totally up to you. You guys let me know. You guys know how I feel about it. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Just a quick hitter on this one. Wanted to get some content out there today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe and I will talk to you next time.